Hey, this is Dave from Hype Train Productions, bringing you a Games with Gold Busted Achievement Guide. Going to break down the easiest ways to unlock some of those missable or tricky achievements in your free Games to Gold titles. And this month it is going to be Killer Instinct Season 1's go. So the achievement we're looking for today will be the three dojo achievements. There is the White Belt, the Orange Belt and Black Belt Achievement Guides. And... From the main menu, if you go to single player, to fight, and to master, you will see the dojo option there. Now this is very much just about taking you through the most basic uh, parts of the game. It's going to be through uh, movement, jumping, crouching, uh, basic attacks, going into blocking and countering, doing throws, and also going into the uh, special moves. Now you'll see from the uh, the first uh, dojo here that it is very much we have gone sort of moving back and forth, little dashes back and forth, done sort of jumping, and then it's sort of showing you how to evade using jump to evade other people's special moves. I have fast forwarded all of the actual fights. Um, there are instructions throughout them so there's no need for me to go in and give you the details there. Just follow the on-screen prompts using the uh, light, medium and heavy punch or kick attacks. Yeah, and then also the directional controls that it shows you. So in the second uh, dojo lesson, there is a brief sort of tutorial around blocking. Um, and again, it's showing you the high blocks and low blocks. Um, which is obviously you know to counteract the jump attacks, the normal attacks, and low attacks. So the first two are completed there. You'll see those ticks of confirmation, and in the third dojo lesson we have the normal standing attacks. So this is going through with your light, your heavy, and medium punch, and it will also then go into light, heavy, and medium kicks. It shows a variety of things here from up close, but also a few of your sort of for the ranged attacks, I think it calls it, but showing you how to close in and do sort of damage from a little bit further out as well. Okay, so that's three lessons down already. And coming into Dojo Lesson 4, and it shows you here how to do different kinds of attacks. So there's crouching ones, but I think we may also come into jump attacks in this video. And uh, we shall see in just a moment. But this is to sort of counteract and to, to get people down. So if you're doing low heavy, low heavy attacks, then it will knock down people to the floor. Okay, so dojo le lesson number five, the one just before we get an achievement, uh, is showing you the jump attacks and jump punches and jump kicks. Now, with the, uh, you see here that I'm not the greatest at fighting here. I missed the, the jump heavy kicks and jump heavy punches a couple of times. But you don't need to be particularly skillful to, to get past this achievement. Okay, so like I say, you'll see here that we have completed dojo lesson number five. All of the uh, first five lessons have been ticked and confirmed. And we have popped the first achievement. Nothing too taxing there. Like I say, even the most sort of basic knowledge around fighting games will see you through these first few there. And have a look at that. It's White Belt for 10 gamer score. Easily done. And that took me maybe, what, 10 minutes to get through that. Um, okay, so going through the next sort of three lessons, six, seven, and eight, we come into the dojo lesson number six. And you'll always have Yego or Jago as your character in this sort of tutorial. So it's showing you a few other sort of attacks using direction, directional controls. So it'll be back and heavy kick. We'll do the roundhouse. And there's a few others. Again, all the prompts you need are on screen. And it'll show you exactly what to do to get this done. Okay, so these are the mix-ups, so it's doing like little combos, like a light punch to open up and then a sort of low sweeping attack. Everything's pretty straightforward. Coming into lesson number seven it is the throws and the throw breaks, so counteracting the throws. Okay, so it's light and uh, light punch and light kick here, 
I think that's quite similar to what it was in the likes of Street Fighter and many other sort of fighting games. Um, and we also throw back over the shoulder and we will counter attack, counter uh, the throws of the enemy here. Okay, so it's all just basically about getting your timing right. Nothing, nothing difficult at all. And it's pushing us towards that second achievement, which is what we are always looking for. Gamer score, gamer score, gamer score. Okay, and eighth lesson, special attacks. So you'll have played, you know, if you've played uh, Street Fighter, you will know the fireball, you will know the tiger punch, you know the whirlwind kick. Um, this character, Jago, is very similar to what your Ryus and your Kens would be like. Um, I keep screwing up my Tiger Fury punch here, um, so please uh, don't worry too much about that. I, uh, I've been a little bit out of practice on my fighting games, uh, hence why I'm doing so poorly here. This is why I sped up the food, because it will show you minutes of me failing to, uh, to connect the correct punch. Okay, so then it moves into using the likes of some of these moves to counter-attack air attacks. Um, and just to use it as a sort of defensive as well as an offensive uh, maneuver. Your wind kick very similar to your whirlwind kick from the likes of your Ryus and Kens and Street Fighter. And here we go. And laser sword is a slightly longer range attack if I remember correctly. Yeah. And it just gets you to repeat them all with light, heavy, and medium. Okay, so those are the first eight basic level uh, lessons done. You do have the option to go through 9 to 16 to get the orange one. Or, like I do here, is rather than sort of go through that and struggle or take a bit longer to uh, complete all these lessons, I repeat lesson one over and over again. Now, this is the navigation one. So you will see me, and I'll show you the, the first time here. I'll show you that it's just the movement, the dashing, the jumping and then using jump to evade fireballs uh, or not evade them as you will see I got hit a couple of times there so that's the ninth dojo lesson now I'm not going to have you sit and watch the, this going through another seven times so I will just show you me completing doing navigation so it literally will just be cutting to killer the killer screen at the end of each level that's the tenth attempt Attempt number 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 are all coming up. So, this is the quickest way to get through this achievement. You do, like I say, have that option of playing every single level and learning the skills that will take you further into the game and get you up to a higher level. But, you know, why bother? Like I say, it will, uh, it will get there a little bit quicker like this and can easily be done to do it. So, you'll see there, completed 16 lessons. Or this is the 16th, I should say. Um, I just wanted to show you that it does confirm that it unlocks after this one. So, again, I've sped up this footage and we will see the achievement unlock. Now... Rather than have you watch me doing this again from 17 to 32, I've showed you that just by completing this and repeating this process over and over, it will unlock both achievements. So we have the orange belt achievement for 10 gamer score for completing 16 dojo lessons unlocked. And we also, by repeating the same process of doing the first lesson another 16 times, we also get the black belt achievement for 10 gamer score unlocked and we shall see it just popping up. I put the uh, achievement screen up for you to see. And that is how to unlock the three dojo achievements. If you found this, use this useful, please like and subscribe to keep up with more guides, let plays, and other content from Hype Train Productions. We will catch you next time. Peace.